So we know most people in the neighborhood. And this was always a rock for us and for our, for our kids. When it looks like this. So this is the back of our house, I think, yeah. We are reminded that it's the people. I'm just going to do fine. that. Yep. Who go. make a neighborhood home. Right, the, the kids would perform or jump rope or do a little dance or write something, and we had it right here in our driveway. Kurt and Cindy on the left here met Wendy and Dave, they're on the right, yeah. <laughs> years ago. And they arrived, well, not so little, you know, a wicker basket with a baby in it, and we happened to have been sitting next to each other at the table, and then we realized that we would be next door neighbors as well. And that was That's the beginning. How we met. <laughs> and she And that baby is... 30 years old now. In all those years. Um, but if you come over here, Wendy. They've swapped the typical neighbor stuff. It was Cindy's mother's coat, and on a day where it's seven or nine degrees. And even not so typical stuff. Yeah, it's her uh, grandmother's piano, which was in our house for 30 years. We gave it to the neighbors two houses away for their kids. They were very happy to take it. And they came over one day, and they just moved it. They just walked it down the street. Boy, the smoke is still coming out down there. I know. Kurt. Yeah, coming through the snow. And the rest of them will always remember what these homes gave to them. Kurt remember, built that slide, sled, sledding hill. He built it all the way around. And, oh, that's right. I built a luge. It built a luge. <laughs> the Marshall Fire can't take that away. It looks like it's they've all been incinerated. incinerated. So, but they all worry what will become of their community, of their people. Because all the families knew each other, the kids grew up together, um, and now we're all dispersed. That may be true for some in the neighborhood, but this friendship. The KitchenAid bowl is back yeah. there as well on the shelf. Will outlast fondue pots. That was from Switzerland. The fire. And if it's even possible, be stronger than ever. <laughs> so Kurt and Cindy now, because they moved out of this neighborhood in 2018 and they were renting out this house, of course, keeping friends with everybody else, they their house is still standing right because they're living somewhere else and now they are a home for wendy and david who are going to be staying with them well for however long it takes which steve i guess would be the truest test of their friendship their all friend of them living together under one roof heck yeah their friendship's pretty remarkable you've covered fires here in colorado i've covered fires here in colorado the thing i can't get over with this anastasia is the scale Yes, we and my partner Anna Herbst and I talk have been talking about this for the last two days that um, I've been covering the Marshall Fire. I mean, I've been out to Waldo. I've covered fires in Boulder County before in the late 2000s and none of them as tragic and, and, and horrible as they were. None of them look like this because the scale and the scope of it being in the residential area and the number of homes like one after another after another just absolutely decimated. And not only do I feel for the people who used to live in this home and, and the communities that have been wiped out, I am certain that it is almost as difficult for the people whose homes are still standing because in, like in front of me right now is a street of the homes that survived. Mm. Some of them don't have power right now, but wouldn't it be difficult to be living in a home that's still standing and looking at the home of your neighbor that who lost everyone, everything. This is so a time when community, it's, it's tough. yeah, it's a time when community comes together uh, and hopefully Always. that'll start the healing process. Anastasia Bolton, appreciate you, friend.